Hello everybody and welcome to our new tutorial today in which we will be dealing with flow in 2D pipe. But before entering into the tutorial, let me introduce you to user defined function or simply saying UDF because we will be using it in our tutorial. So what's a UDF file? A UDF file or a user defined function is a function that you write as a program and can be dynamically loaded with the Fluent Solver in order to enhance the standard features of the code. So why do we use a UDF file? Because it allows us to customize Fluent to fit our particular modeling needs. But what does all this mean? For example, if you want to assign a sinusoidal velocity or a sinusoidal pressure to your inlet boundary instead of the constant value which is the only value offered by Fluent, you will be writing a UDF file. And simply to write a UDF file, you will need to know the basics of the C programming language. And after you have written your UDF file, you will either interpret it or compile it. Now I'll not get deep into this, but I'll tell you when to use each one. Interpret your file when you have small straightforward functions. However, compile it when you use complex functions. Now this is what a UDF file looks like, and in a moment I will be explaining each statement on each line what it means. Now you can write a UDF file in a text editor, such as Notepad, but when you save it, don't forget to put .c, as you see here, the name is unsteady.c. Now here, uh, this is a note. Uh, if you want to write a note in your inside your code, you should put it in this manner, in the following manner, in order uh, not to affect your code. So this is a note specifying what the code is about, what the UDF file is about, and as you see, it's a transient velocity profile boundary condition. Coming to the first statement, it already identifies itself. Every UDF file must start with it. Include udf.h. Coming to the second statement, define underscore profile means that you are defining a function that varies with respect to space coordinates, such as x or y, or with respect to time. Now define alone, as you see here, define alone is a macro which must be used to define your UDF. But what's a macro? Macro is just a fragment of code which has been given a name. Now coming to the arguments in parentheses, the first one is the UDF name, unsteady underscore velocity, and this is the name that you will choose when you are assigning the boundary condition at the inlet. Now, the next argument is a past invariable, thread, thread, which means here it is the boundary condition zone ID. You can think of it as a boundary maybe a wall, for example. The third argument, and which is the second, the second past in variable, is the index that identifies the variable that is to be defined. In this case, it is the position. Now the third statement is the phase thread index. Keep in mind that each control volume of a solid or a fluid is called a cell influent. And the data structure for cell faces is typed as follows. It is face underscore t f, which is the face thread index. The fourth statement is as simple as it looks like. It's uh, defining a real number for uh, the current uh, time flow in seconds. And it's written in the following manner. Real t equal current underscore time, current underscore time, it is uh, 
a statement known for ANSYS fluent. Coming to the fifth statement, our objective is to assign our equation or our function to every face in the thread. Therefore, we will, we will want to calculate the equation at every face of the boundary. Therefore, we open a loop which is begin underscore f underscore loop and we give it an argument f comma thread. f is the face and thread is the whole boundary. Now the sixth statement exists inside the loop and it stores a boundary condition in memory for every face. In our tutorial this is the function or the equation of the velocity that we will use. And here we arrive at the last statement which is closing the loop uh, we began so we close it in this manner. Now let's take a look here at this section of the 2D pipe that we will see in uh, our tutorial. Uh, this is uh, the uh, meshed part. This is a meshed part of the uh, 2D pipe. Now, what the uh, UDF is exactly doing, it is calculating for each face the equation we assigned for it. So here is the inlet uh, boundary. We are The UDF is calculating on each face the equation we assigned to it. So these are the faces. And as you see, they are parts of the whole cell. This is a cell, and this is a node. And uh, we will all see this in the tutorial. Now let's move on to start our uh, tutorial for 2D pipe flow simulation. Okay, so now let's start our analysis by going to a fluid flow fluent and dragging it to our workbench. Let's call it, I will call it tutorial. Don't forget to change the analysis type to 2D. Right click on geometry and let's go to design modeler to sketch our domain. So here we click on XY plane, then we click on Z and uh, don't forget the units, put it in meter and go to sketch, we will just make a simple sketch and let's give it dimensions so here let's give it 15 meters and let's give it a width of uh, let's say 0.5 meters Let's go to concept surface from sketches. You can click on one of these or you can click on the sketch here and apply, generate, save, and let's go to mesh. And we will not uh, we will not uh, take much time in meshing because this tutorial is not about meshing. So we will just uh, generate an acceptable mesh and uh, proceed with our analysis. So uh, here let's go to the global mesh let's put it uh, let's say 60 millimeters let's go to geometry and let's uh, let's uh, click on edges and assign uh, names create name selection for each edge now this one is the inlet the back one is the uh, outlet the upper one is the uh, pipe wall or just simply call it wall and the bottom is the axis since we are dealing with a symmetric problem now let's uh, generate mesh or you can just click on mesh and update so that it will uh, the mesh will be generated and it will be taken directly to fluent okay it's successfully sent to fluent now go to setup let's choose double precision process is four and let's go and start our analysis now here uh, in general we must choose transient since uh, the velocity is changing with time okay now in setting up physics you can put the energy equation if you are dealing with heat transfer or temperature and for the boundary conditions now for the materials I will leave them the same uh, default air and aluminium 
and for the boundary conditions you can double click on inlet and it is by default assigned to be velocity inlet but uh, you, as you can see as I told you it's only constant value that is offered by the software so what we do here is we go to parameters and customization we right click on user defined uh, functions and we go to interpreted UDFs in order to browse and to select our uh, file here is the uh, C file I call it unsteady click OK and interpret and you will see four lines uh, that looks the same as this when it's interpreted and when it's interpreted uh, here it is just click close go back to boundary conditions inlet and choose here it is the UDF unsteady velocity which is the UDF name click OK and let's go to initialization uh, let's initialize from inlet OK and let's click on initialize OK and now for solving uh, let's uh, choose the number of steps to be let's say 50 and let's go to create an animation and uh, let's make it contour and let's make it velocity and let's see what it looks like on the in the interior surface body make it filled and smooth okay this is at first and let's close click again on contour and click okay and uh, start your before you start your calculation if you want some reports which are related to time you can go to surface reports uh, area weighted average and you can see the you can make the velocity where's the velocity here mm, just keep it area weighted and the field variable here here you put velocity and for example you choose to um, monitor the velocity on the inlet for example let's say uh, choose report file report plot and print to console in order to see it uh, when uh, you are generating the uh, when you are calculating when you are performing calculations now click ok and let's go to calculate okay now here you see it's uh, being calculated with the and here is the default plot and here you see it's taking a sinusoidal shape well not so perfect not a perfect shape but it's taking a sinusoidal one and this is the inlet velocity this is what it looks like and this is the function that we assign to uh, the velocity here you see velocity magnitude meter per second and it is uh, with respect to time and here are the contours that are being generated by uh, calculation and here are the magnitudes of the velocity now you can wait for it till it ends I will stop here and thank you very much for watching and see you in later tutorials Thank you so much for watching, I hope you benefited from this video and please uh, subscribe if you like my videos.